Praise the Lord, everybody. God is so good. And truly the Lord's mercy, it endures until the end. Well, it is time to pray again. And the thought that came to mind today was what a mighty God we serve. We serve a God that can do all things and a God that cannot fail. A God that is able to manage the lives of millions of his people. Hallelujah. He is a great God and truly he is uh, the great I am. What do you need from the Lord today? Huh? Hallelujah. I know him to be a judge in the courtroom. Huh? I know him to be a lawyer. Huh? I I know him to be a protector. I know him to be a provider. I know him to be a loving father. What is it that you need from God today? He is a mighty God and I love him today for truly God heard my cry. Hallelujah. And he has and he will be that for you as well. So know today that you know he declares if his children ask for anything in the name of Jesus he would do it. Our God declares that two of us agree he would do it. And he said also that if his word abides in us and we abide in his word, we can ask our Lord for whatever we will. So what is it that you need from a loving God today? He's right there with open arms, ready to love on you, ready to help you, ready to guide you, ready to comfort you. You know, what is it that you need? Know today that God loves you. Know that I love you. I'm praying for you. And until we meet again, stay strong. And keep your eyes on Jesus. God bless you. Father, I praise you. I thank you. I bless you. I honor you. Lord, I give you the glory and the honor and the praise, my Lord. For truly, thine alone are worthy to be praised, great God. Thine alone are worthy to be exalted. You are high and lifted up, seated on the throne. And the train of your robe, my Lord, it fills the temple with glory. So I give you praise, God. I bless you and I honor you, Father, for all that you have done. What a mighty God we serve. What an excellent God we serve. What a loving God we serve. Great, great, great God and greatly to be praised. So Father, I pray for your people today, Father. I pray, God, that they would know you in your greatness today, Father God. That they would know that you're able to do exceedingly abundantly that which they could ever ask you or think. That they would know today if God be for us, who can be against us that they would know today, Father, that you're able, God, hallelujah, you're willing, Father, hallelujah, and you're not willing that, God, today, that they should walk in defeat, Father, but you have declared that Jesus Christ huh, has given us the victory, so thank you for the blood of Jesus, thank you for the cross on Calvary, my Lord, thank you for forgiveness of sin, let your people walk today, knowing who they are, help them to discover their identity in Christ Jesus, huh? No Knowing they have the victory, knowing that they, hallelujah, are more than conquerors today through him that love them, Lord. So bless your people today abundantly, Father. And I ask that whatever need they might have, Father, that you would supply their need according to your riches and your glory. Praying for the man of God, Father. Asking in the name of Jesus that you would bless him today, Father. Praying that like Solomon prayed, Father, for wisdom and discernment, Father, an understanding heart that he might lead the people. I pray that the men of God would be filled with wisdom, Father, and discernment that they might lead your people, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, and asking whatever need they have, Father God, asking that you would supply it in the precious name of Jesus, Father. Praying for this United States, Father. Oh, God, let your will be done in the White House, my Lord. Let your will be done with the politicians and every lawmaker, God, in the name of Jesus, Father. Let the Thine holy will be done. Praying for the sinner man today, Father, that the Lord of harvest would send labors into the field. Praying for the prostitute, the drug addict, Lord. Praying for those that are homeless and hungry, God. Oh, in the cold, Father God. Oh, send laborers in the name of Jesus, Father God, I pray. Those that are calling on your name, God, that don't have anybody, God, I pray that you would send laborers in the name of Jesus. Send laborers to the nursing home. Send laborers to the 
the hospital. Send labors to the prison, Father. In the matchless name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. You know, I never want to close one of my videos without giving someone the opportunity to give their life to the Lord. You know, in the days and the hours and the time that we are living in now, it demands that you know who you are, who you belong to, and where you are going. And so I want to give you the opportunity to give your life to the Lord. If you have not heard the story. The Bible declares that we were all born sinners. It says over in the book of Romans, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that transpired back in the book of Genesis where Adam disobeyed God. And because of Adam's disobedience, sin and death entered into the world. And so Jesus, who was God's sacrificial lamb, because a price had to be paid for the sins of the world. So God sent in John 3 16 he says for God so loved the world he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life so that's what I want to give you the opportunity to do today to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior to wash away all of your sins Romans 10 9 says if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead the Bible says you shall be saved. Romans 10 13 says if you call on the name of the Lord he will save you. So just repeat this prayer after me. Also if you have walked away from the Lord come on back home. Just say Lord I confess that I am a sinner. I'm sorry for the wrong that I have done. Please forgive me. I invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I denounce Satan. I declare that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died, that he was buried, and that he rose again. And now that I am your child, please fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer, God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. Know today all of heaven is rejoicing because you have chosen to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. Welcome again to the family of God.